Welcome to Point Nemo, the loneliest place on Earth. This remote point in the vast Pacific Ocean is the furthest you can be from any land. It's a place of extremes where the ocean reigns supreme. Here, the waves crash with a force that echoes the isolation of this unique location. Point Nemo lies at 48 degrees 52.6 minutes south latitude and 123 degrees 23.6 minutes west longitude. This isolated spot is over 1,600 miles from the nearest landmass. Imagine the immensity of the ocean surrounding you, stretching out in all directions. The vastness is both humbling and awe-inspiring. Point Nemo is not marked by any physical features. It is a point on the map, a coordinate in the vastness of the Pacific. The name Nemo itself is derived from Latin, meaning no one, which perfectly encapsulates the essence of this desolate location. The closest humans are often astronauts orbiting overhead on the International Space Station. They are closer to Point Nemo than anyone on Earth, highlighting the sheer remoteness of this location. Despite its isolation, Point Nemo has become a point of interest for scientists and explorers. Its remote location makes it an ideal spot for studying ocean currents and marine life that thrive far from human interference. The area around Point Nemo is also known as the Oceanic Pole of Inaccessibility, a term that underscores its extreme remoteness. This point is so isolated that the nearest land is over a thousand miles away, making it a true frontier of human exploration. So, as you gaze upon the endless expanse of the ocean, remember Point Nemo, a testament to the vast, uncharted territories that still exist on our planet. It serves as a reminder of the mysteries that lie beneath the waves, waiting to be discovered. Point Nemo's remoteness makes it an ideal location for a unique purpose, a spacecraft cemetery. When satellites reach the end of their lives, they need to come down to Earth. To avoid the risk of debris falling on populated areas, space agencies carefully guide these decommissioned spacecraft to Point Nemo. This controlled descent ensures that the remains of our space exploration fall harmlessly into the ocean. Over 260 spacecraft have met their end at Point Nemo since 1971. The remains of satellites, cargo ships and even the Mir space station rest on the ocean floor. This graveyard of space exploration serves as a reminder of humanity's ventures beyond our planet. Despite its remoteness and the harsh conditions, Point Nemo is not devoid of life. The depths of the ocean here are home to a variety of creatures adapted to this extreme environment. Scientists believe that the unique conditions at Point Nemo, such as the lack of sunlight and the extreme pressure, may harbor unusual and undiscovered life forms. These organisms have evolved to survive in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. Research expeditions to Point Nemo have revealed fascinating creatures, including deep sea fish, squid and jellyfish. These discoveries provide insights into the incredible biodiversity of our planet, even in its most remote corners. While life exists at Point Nemo, it is far from abundant. The region surrounding Point Nemo is known as the South Pacific Gyre, a massive rotating current that isolates the area from nutrient-rich waters. This isolation, combined with the lack of sunlight penetration at depth, creates a desert in the ocean. The lack of nutrients limits the growth of phytoplankton, the base of the marine food web. As a result, the waters around Point Nemo are remarkably clear. The lack of organic matter suspended in the water creates a deep blue hue that is both beautiful and indicative of the sparse life found here. Section 5 echoes of fiction Point Nemo and the myths it inspires. Point Nemo's remoteness and mysterious nature have captured the imagination of writers and storytellers. Located in the South Pacific Ocean, it is the oceanic pole of inaccessibility, the point in the ocean farthest from any land. This isolation has made it a blank canvas for the human imagination, a place where the boundaries between reality and fiction blur. It has been featured in literature and film, often as a place of isolation, mystery and even horror. The very name Point Nemo evokes a sense of the unknown, a place where the ordinary rules of the world might not apply. This has made it a perfect setting for stories that explore the limits of human understanding and the depths of fear. H.P. Lovecraft, the master of cosmic horror, placed his fictional city of Relier, home to the monstrous Cthulhu in the vicinity of Point Nemo. 
In Lovecraft's mythos, Relia is a sunken city where the Great Old One lies in a death-like slumber waiting to rise again. This association has imbued Point Nemo with an aura of cosmic dread, making it a focal point for fans of Lovecraftian horror. This association with Lovecraft's work has cemented Point Nemo's place in popular culture as a place of otherworldly dread. But Lovecraft is not the only one to have drawn inspiration from this remote location. Jules Verne, in his novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, also hinted at the mysteries of the deep ocean, a theme that resonates with the enigma of Point Nemo. While the reality of Point Nemo is far less sinister, the stories and myths surrounding it add to its allure. In truth, it is a desolate spot, devoid of human life, where the nearest humans are often astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Yet this very desolation fuels the imagination, making it a symbol of the unknown and the unexplored. It remains a place that sparks our curiosity and reminds us of the vastness and mystery of our planet. Point Nemo stands as a testament to the power of the human imagination, a place where the real and the fictional converge, inviting us to ponder the mysteries that lie beyond the horizon. Section 6 of Scientific Wonderland Research Opportunities at the World's Most Remote Location Point Nemo's unique environment provides scientists with a valuable natural laboratory. The extreme conditions, isolation and lack of human interference make it an ideal location for a variety of research projects. Oceanographers study the currents, water chemistry and deep sea ecosystems at Point Nemo. Marine biologists investigate the unique life forms that have adapted to this extreme environment. Climate scientists also monitor Point Nemo to understand the effects of climate change on the ocean. The data collected here helps us to better understand the complex interactions between the ocean and the atmosphere. Section 7. Protecting the Void. The importance of preserving Point Nemo. Despite its remoteness, Point Nemo is not immune to the impacts of human activities. Pollution, climate change and the potential for overfishing pose threats to this unique and fragile ecosystem. International cooperation is crucial to protect Point Nemo and its surrounding waters. Designating the area as a marine protected area would help to safeguard its biodiversity and ensure its long-term health. Protecting Point Nemo is not just about preserving a remote location. It's about safeguarding the health of our oceans and the planet as a whole. Section 8, the future of Nemo, potential uses and discoveries. As technology advances, the potential uses for Point Nemo continue to expand. Some have proposed using the area for deep sea mining or as a platform for scientific research stations. However, any future development at Point Nemo must be carefully considered. Balancing the potential benefits with the need to protect this unique ecosystem will be crucial. Further exploration of Point Nemo is likely to reveal new species, uncover geological secrets and provide valuable data for climate change research. This remote point in the ocean holds immense potential for scientific discovery. Section 9, a final farewell reflecting on the significance of Point Nemo. Point Nemo, the oceanic pole of inaccessibility, stands as a testament to the vastness and mystery of our planet. Located in the South Pacific Ocean, it is the farthest point from any landmass, making it one of the most remote places on Earth. This isolation has led to a unique environment, largely untouched by human activity, where the natural world thrives in its purest form. It is a place of extremes, where life finds a way to exist in the face of immense challenges. The waters around Point Nemo are home to a variety of marine species, some of which are found nowhere else on the planet. These creatures have adapted to the harsh conditions, showcasing the incredible resilience and adaptability of life. As we continue to explore and understand our planet, Point Nemo serves as a reminder of the importance of protecting our oceans and the incredible biodiversity they harbor. The coral reefs and marine ecosystems in these remote areas are vital to the health of our planet, acting as nurseries for countless species and playing a crucial role in the global climate system. It is a place that inspires awe, wonder and a deep respect for the natural world. The sheer remoteness and untouched beauty of Point Nemo evoke a sense of tranquility and reflection, 
reminding us of the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. This balance is fragile, and it is our responsibility to ensure that these pristine environments are preserved for future generations. Let us ensure that Point Nemo remains a pristine wilderness, a testament to the power and resilience of life on Earth. By protecting such remote and untouched places, we honor the natural world and acknowledge our role as stewards of the planet. In doing so, we safeguard the future of our oceans and the myriad forms of life they support.